So depending on the unit that you've got, you can have for the first octave and third octave bands. And again, here's is the time period. We're still on the same day, the 25th of May. Here's the whole day down the bottom. And I can focus in again on a particular period by dragging these bars in. And that will show me the overall uh, frequency values for the period that I've chosen. If I want third octave bands, I just click on the third octave band button in the top right. And there's the third octave bands for the same time period. And we also get a table. And if I want to have them uh, air weighted or C weighted, I just click the buttons up there. And that shows me in the histogram those relevant values. And if I want to take them back out, I can just unclick. And there we are. So all that information, frequency information is valid and uh, is able to be seen. And you can also do that for any particular day in history that, uh, that you wish. But not only do we have this way of looking at frequencies, we've also got a, a three dimensional view of this particular period of time here. I can spin this around and basically what I have is the frequencies down one axis, the time along another, and the decibel level in the vertical axis. And it's color coded. So I can see by running my mouse along this color chart on the left hand side, highlighting those values that are above or below a particular decibel level. And again, if I want to focus in using these drag lines on a particular time of day, I can do that and I can spin it around to get a really good look at what's actually happening. So having all three axes used, frequency, time, and decibel level, you can really get a great idea of what's actually happening with the noise that, that you're investigating.